Hey, hey, what is shaking YouTube today? I'm gonna teach you how to shoot any coin, whether it's a penny, a nickel, a dime, whatever, really hard with just a snap of your fingers like this. This is really easy and a lot of fun. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so now let's get in how to do it. So when you're first learning this, I recommend learning with pennies. You can do this with any coin, doesn't matter. It pretty much is the same concept no matter what. But first off, pennies are the cheapest, so you got the most ammo for the money. If, you know you know what I'm saying? You lose them, it's no big deal. Dimes, because they're a little smaller, they're a little harder to fling because it's just harder to get a good grip in the way you need to do it, and we'll get into that in a second. Um, both nickels and quarters are pretty easy, but they both are heavier and you can cause more damage. So like if you hit your wall, the nickel will probably put a dent in it. The quarter might put a hole in it. Um, this, once again, yeah, you can do this hard. This is not meant to be shot at people or pets. This is just around the house, you know, at fun. When you're first learning this, I would recommend just shooting it at your couch over and over again, uh, up close, not doing target practice, just using how to get the motion down and uh, you'll probably get it. So all you really have to be able to do is snap your fingers. If you can snap your fingers, you should be able to do this. It's not really hard at all. Okay, so when we're first learning this, we're gonna use a penny. And I'll break it down in slow-mo in a little bit. First, I just wanna go over the basics. So the grip you do is you're gonna hold it with your dominant thumb. And I don't want, I want it just slightly off to this side. So not directly in the middle, a little off to the side. Okay, then my, my snapping finger, my middle finger, I'm gonna put just like the corner or like half of my finger over it. You see that? I don't have my whole finger over it. It's, it's just a little bit because that's what's gonna make it flip. I'm gonna snap my fingers this way and it's gonna make it flip out like that. And the harder you snap your fingers, the harder it'll fling because it's just that force that it creates. It'll create a centrifugal force and just freaking dirt out, dart out of your hand. Okay, so it's almost like you're trying to make it slip at the same time. So that's basically what you're doing. If you're holding it in your thumb, sorry, the camera wants to focus on my face. It's just the setting. Um, yeah, so like what you're doing is as it's here, as you pull it down, notice it's kind of pulling it up. So that's where you want to find your sweet spot where it makes it go up like that. Okay, now let me show you right here and then I'll break it down. I'll put on my action camera, do some first person and slow mo and stuff in a minute. Um, but let me just show you this, okay? So once again, we got it. Come on, focus. There we go. Okay, so I want it off to the side a little like that, just a little and then this one on top. Okay, so just like how you snap your fingers, you go down like this. That's basically what you're doing and you are gonna aim with like the middle of your forearm. A lot of people say, oh, say aim with your elbow. Whenever I do that, I, I miss completely. So I aim for it with like the middle of my forearm. So if I'm going like this, right here is what's gonna, what's gonna hit it. Okay, so um, let me show you another one here and then we'll break it down slow-mo. Maybe that'll help you out. But it's really simple. So I'm just holding it, just holding it like this and then boom, I just pull it down and snap my finger. So like so. That was pretty cool. Did you see that? The two fell on there. I probably couldn't do that. I could not do that again if I tried. Okay, so that was just me doing it real lightly. Um, you want to learn just, just, just the speed and the power is going to come. The better you are at it, the more you practice, the harder you'll be able to do it. So when you're first learning, don't concentrate on trying to do it as hard as you can. Also, when you're doing it, if you go like that a little bit, like move your arm forward, you can get a little more power. But I also don't recommend doing that until you already learn how to do it. So. Um, it's really basic. It's basically just snapping your fingers and letting it shoot out. Um, now, let me put on my action camera. We'll give you a first person view um, and that might really help you break it down slow-mo a little better. So, um, let me throw that thing on and hopefully it helps. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Once again, this is very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Do not be shooting people or pets. Just shoot things around the house, like cups and stuff. Uh, if this video interests you, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you guys how to shoot other household items um, very soon. And if you like this video, you're guaranteed to like those. Anybody can learn how to do this. Practice makes perfect when you're first learning. Just practice on something that you can get a lot of reps in, like just shooting it at your couch over and over again or into a cardboard box, something you can just keep grabbing them real fast, get a whole lot of reps in, because practice is what's really gonna get this. Um, breaking it down in slow-mo probably helped you learn how to do it and everything, but in order to really learn it, you gotta just go out there and do it. So, um, if you learn how to do this, leave me leave me a comment below. Um, I've known how to do this forever, I think it's a lot of fun, and um, yeah, I mean, come on. Tell, tell me that's not fun.
So I'll see you guys later and peace out.